behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Well, as we know, medical records are supposed to give doctors an accurate depiction of our health history. But Morning Insider Tim McNicholas finds mistakes are not common and getting your record fixed can be an uphill battle. Dead from a bad mix of drugs. Millions of dollars in cocaine. Discovered white powder. We saw the white bag. Six others. This white powder is causing controversy, but not for the reason you'd expect. When Bianca Anderson submitted her disability benefits for her annual review, she got a call from an agent about a change to her medical records, illicit drug use. It was a shock to me. Problem is, she's never used cocaine before, yet doctors at UIC's pain clinic mistakenly added it to her record, an error she wants erased. It's disheartening because these records stay with you forever. It's unclear how the drug abuse made its way onto her record, but it turns out the electronic record system isn't foolproof. Electronic health records are stunningly complex. Ross Coppell is a longtime electronic health records expert. They've got thousands of cells of data where you can put in, and the possibility of confusion and errors is very great. He knows from personal experience. I'm professor of medicine at two universities. I'm um, a scholar of healthcare IT. Yet even his records are riddled with errors that he can't remove. It's a constant source of irritation to me. And I should be able to do it better than the average Joe. And I can't. So what can patients do to fix their records? Well, if you find a mistake, write a letter to your provider explaining the error. They then have 60 days to fix it or deny your claim. For Anderson, after much back and forth with UIC. They sent me a document acknowledging that it's a mistake, but it's still there. For UIC, amending the record meant crossing out the word cocaine. In most cases, the horizontal line is sufficient, but Anderson wants it removed completely. She says when other providers look at her record, the stigma behind drug abuse creates problems. If I need a specific treatment, I'm going to be denied it as far as pain control because they're going to look at the records and say, hey, this person has a problem. We can't give it to her. And she worries she will pay the price for someone else's mistake. Their mistakes are not going to affect them. They're going to affect you long term. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. UIC says their system doesn't allow for information to be erased. Copel says that in the past couple of months, there's been a push for unique patient ID numbers that would prevent mistakes like this from happening. For more stories like this one, download our new app and look for the section called Morning Insiders.